I'm Antonia Mercarella, CEO of the REIQ. Welcome to Close Ups, a series where we delve into the worlds of agents working in the property industry. In this season, we'll be exploring all things health and wellbeing related and learning how agents cope with the increasing demands of the property sector. And what better way to explore this topic than with a wonderful and decadent spa treatment here at Stephanie's. I'll be going toe to toe, quite literally, as we enjoy a foot spa and a chat. So let's find out how these agents are prioritising their mental and physical well-being whilst also running a successful real estate practice. Today I'm joined by Peter Hutton, CEO and co-founder of Hutton and Hutton Real Estate. Peter, welcome. Oh, well, thank you, Antonia. Yeah, glad great, to be here. Great to have you with us. Thank you. Now we're talking all things well-being and health related today. So a good starting point is the fact that you work with your partner in business and partner in life, yes. your wife yep. and your daughters. We do. So let's talk about how do you maintain that division between work and personal life when you are living with the person you mm. work with? Uh, that's a very good question. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, as it turns out, not to, it's not that difficult because you have certain boundaries. You know, mm. like we're at work, we're working, but our work environment's not one of, it's regimented, like we all have our jobs to do and I think that's where you start with it's like um, I'm the CEO so I have my job description there and what yes. I do so I'm the chief uh, environment officer I call it right. so I don't call it the chief executive my job is to create a great environment um, and then various people in our business uh, their jobs are to create the results and um, my wife's ahead of the marketing, mm -hmm. so that's her. Yeah, that's her kingdom. Uh, so division of responsibilities. Yeah, and, and it wouldn't matter if it wasn't Karen or if it was, um, uh, you know, somebody we employed. That would be what they're employed to do, and sure. they've got a KPIs and job description, and um, and so, you know, I don't sort of like meddle with that. Yeah, you know, it's not my job to do that. And then Paris, our youngest daughter, she's the operations manager. Probably Paris and I work really closely together. Right. We're very similar. Um, which Is that can, a good thing? Uh, well, I think it's a really good thing because we both think alike. So it makes it easy working. We can sort of read our minds. Um, but at the same time, we can clash very occasionally. Okay. But the trick with life in any relationship, work or home life, and my wife and I have been married 33 years, um, is to actually have a, a, either one or both people have, somebody or both have to go, we need to stop this argument now and mm. move forward. Mm. And the past is a past. And now how can we resolve this? And what, what's the next step? Okay. And my wife's really good at that. Right. Um, and so, you know, for me growing up with her getting older has been learning how to also be like that. And now with my, my daughters, you know, in business, if we ever have a clash, as I said, which is very rare, but mm. if it does happen, yeah. the first thing to realize is, okay, um, this can be resolved and just to let the dust settle quickly. And then to, you know, remind, we always remind each other, we're family first. Yeah. This is not business. So, yeah, family first, family business. First, yeah. Business second. Nice. Family's more important. Yeah. Our relationship's more important than anything else. So let's move forward. Well, on. you're clearly getting both right. Hutton & Hutton is a very successful brand. And you. and you all seem, certainly when I've seen you with all your family, yeah. you all seem to have a really lovely dynamic. Yeah, we do. And I mean, we're working together all day long, right? Mm. But And then Karen and I go home together. Yeah. But when we have... Um, we know what we do at night time and the morning we have routines, you know, so we that exclude work. Yeah. So in the morning we go for our, we get up together, we go for a walk together, we take our doggy for a walk, we have coffee together. Um, so stop. that's how you start your morning, you'll take the dog out Yeah, for yeah, a walk. we do a 3K to 4K walk every morning. Uh, we'll have a coffee either home or out. Right. Then we'll sit down and have breakfast together. Right. Um, and then we'll do some sort of, you know, something like Karen might do some meditation or I might do some uh, reading. 
and then and then we and do you do that separately from each other do you have some of your alone time um, away from each no, other sometimes or? we we're like we've got the mind valley app you know um yeah and we're doing uh one of the very esoteric trainings on there at the moment right right um which we've been a bit slack with because it's probably a bit out there so much that sometimes there's a bit of avoidance <laughs> happens but right. uh, and we've been busy the last couple of weeks yeah. but uh yeah no we do some things like that together like right. we karen and i've done a lot of different uh, meditation courses together okay. over the years we've yeah. i think we've probably done it uh, maybe 10 different types. Um, and so clearly meditation is something that you both I, find very I beneficial. I hardly meditate these days. Oh, right. Okay. Um, not to so say... So do you weave in and out of it? You come, yeah, Do I'm you a, gravitate back to I, it? I think I'm just very good at once I sit down and I can, I've just learned to switch off and um, uh, I'm very active mentally. So I steer that to creative mental thinking okay and i find that very meditative so i can eat quite so easy. what does that look like for you uh, it could could actually be me actually doing something like sitting i've got a uh, one of those remarkable ipaddy things you know uh -huh. with the pens and i'll just do doodles okay. and i'll draw something yeah, right. and i'll just i won't draw something i'm looking at i'll just use my imagination and just do that and i might do that for 20 minutes and you know um and and then that sort of like gives me that pause yeah for that pause okay. um some mornings i just sit there very quietly on my own mm. um and i might just look at interior design uh pictures because i i'm the son of an interior decorator right. i love beautiful you know yes. I, I i see the the beauty in that and yeah. so i can just look at that beautiful something pictures like that and and spend 10 15 minutes and like that's my little break time that's lovely yeah yeah and then yeah. and then we shower change get to work yeah um but working together we we we, we find with the family when we get together outside of work if we talk about work it's usually we're talking about things we did wrong but like we laugh at each other yes. or something i might have done or said so i have a bit of a joke about it laugh about it and then we then it's we don't talk about work we just talk about everything else it sounds like you can still successfully have time away from work where you're yeah. not talking about work karen and i we have a right of veto of, yeah. of a conversation so that's just a, an agreement we've got right Fair of veto enough. and if we're out walking and one of us starts talking about work and the other doesn't want to talk about work you know that other person me or karen will say I don't want to talk about work. Yeah, and we go, okay. I think that's a great rule. Yeah, can we talk about yeah. it later? Yeah, let's park it and we'll talk about yeah. it when we get get home. Yeah. Or often what we'll do is we'll just quickly get our phone out, send Make a message a or, or send an email yeah. as a reminder so we don't lose that yes. train of thought, what we're going to talk about, and we deal with it you know, in a more appropriate that's time. That's fantastic. Yeah. I love that. But I, I, look, I love working with the family. And yeah. I, um wasn't uh, something we set out to do purposely. Um, uh, Karen and I sort of set out purposely to build H&H, mm. &H, but even then Karen was like, you know, it's, you run with it sort of thing. And it just built momentum up. Yeah. And she said, how big do you want to, you're not going to, you're just going to, we're just going to stay as a two man business, aren't we? <laughs> and I'm going, oh, just, we're just Famous gonna, last add, a, words. add a few more people yeah. in. It's more fun with more people, but yeah, that's which lovely. is good. Yeah. Well, so thank you so much you. for sharing so much about your lovely oh, family pleasure. and your professional journey. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Antonia. Peter. See ya. <laughs>We'd like to give a special shout out to Stephanie's for hosting us today. Synonymous for luxury, innovation and curated beauty, the award-winning Stephanie's collection of day spas are committed to unsurpassed guest service and unparalleled spa therapy. For a short time, they're extending a 10% discount on any treatment with a 60 minute duration or more. Mention the promo code REIQ at the time of booking to receive this special offer. I'm Antonia Mercarella and this has been Close Ups. Thanks so much for joining us.